we are live making Hi, Bone Irene broth on and Facebook Dini. and YouTube. And Gizette, Kathy. Hello, Christine. everyone. How are you guys? Hi, everyone. Tara in her ever prepared state. It looks like our four fans have all joined in. <laughs> <laughs> everyone it's a beautiful day here in Colorado a little cold but yeah. beautiful sunny all right today we are making homemade bone broth and um something oh where did what ah doing the bag she's trying to tell people on Instagram that the show is live okay all my soap pictures Denise says hello keep... please say hi hi Denise all my soap pictures keep showing up on Instagram, and I gotta get to making soap. Mary asks if we've had lots of snow, and Patty says we have snow. Yes, we have some snow. So, are we on YouTube, Dave? Mm-hmm. Anne says hello All from right. Australia, 10.30 a.m. I bet Ooh, there's no snow for you. Probably not in Australia. So today <laughs> we're making homemade bone broth, but an announcement. Bum, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Two minutes of planning later. <laughs> <laughs> So, like five minutes ago, I called Perkins in Longmont, Colorado and said, if we do a live meetup, if we do a meetup with our, with our viewers, that didn't make sense. If we do a meetup with our viewers, could we meet there? And they were like, sure, we'd love to have you. So, March 11th, we're going to Perkins to eat lunch. So, if you want to join us, we will be there. Whoa, cool. Or be square. Wait, what? So what time did we decide? One or two? You shouldn't have said that because now some people get confused. Um, I guess say let's meet there at one and then okay. probably by two. We'll one o'clock kind of at Perkins in Longmont, Colorado on Main Street on March 11th. We will be there and you can come say hey. One o'clock mountain and We would time. love to come say hey. It's mountain Do we want to ask though? For people to let us know so we can kind yes. of give them an idea. Yes, so please how many email me so I can kind of have a little bit of a count. Can I see my head? Tori my says head March 11th off? is my birthday. Dave. Should we oh, sing the birthday song live? We'll have to sing it live to you. I think my head is locked off, Dave. Your head okay. is locked off. I just fixed it. You did? <laughs> okay. So, March 11th, be there or be square. Did you ask them if they have enough bandwidth that we can? Run everybody live on the air. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so to make homemade bone broth, this is super simple. Oh! Ah! Turret, oh! Turret says in Norway it's sunny and cold. Ah! Sorry. Joyce Sorry. says prayers for you all today. Thank you, Joyce. Oh, we need it. Good grief. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, people in forms. Just step over the crash and keep on going. <laughs> oh my, I don't even know where MSRP I'm looking up because it wasn't called bone broth 20 years ago. It was just called making soup. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, bone broth is a... Bone broth is a new thing that people have done. Okay, so let me find the recipe here because I'm not with it today. And I'm about to share the recipe in the Page. comments too. 109 in Dining on a Dime Cookbook. Okay, now I have to say a little disclaimer here. When I saw at the health food store, right here, okay, page 109 is my recipe, except the difference is, is you cook it for a little bit longer. What? I was wondering why you guys said a little bit. Oh. Um, when I went to the health food store and I saw people were paying $8 for eight cups of this stuff, I was like, are you kidding me, people? Here, move that so you can bang the table. Oh, that wasn't very effective. No. Oh, dear, my teeth. I almost did my teeth. You need to put some silverware on the table so when you bang it, it makes here, that here, jingly see. sound. That's still kind of anticlimactic. It, it doesn't work when you plan it. You have to be spontaneous. Let me do it. Right. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you have to... So you have to. You're not doing it like this. You're doing I it see. like this. Okay, well that's the problem. So you need to do it with your palm. So <laughs> you can make this for almost free. Do not go out and buy bone broth. That is absolutely ridiculous. This takes two minutes to make. So 
And if you want, if you're, if you really want to be organic and all that, you can use organic. Like bones. Your organic turkey chicken and an organic carrot and all that other stuff. So I have. You can use a big pan like this, or I've had my crock pot with it. Can you see the crock pot? All night long, I've had the crock pot simmering. Okay. So what I did was last night, I made us a roast chicken. And it was quite delicious. Yes, it but was. But you missed it. And okay. she kept the bones. You didn't have it till 9 o'clock last night. <laughs> because you went to choir practice and choir practice was canceled. Yep. And you weren't home for two and a half hours. Where were you? I was at choir practice. Mm -hmm. I, was, I was practicing my solo at Matt and Heidi's house. <laughs> <laughs> so he had to take some tough stuff, stuff to our friend's house and ended up staying two hours. <laughs> so you take all of your leftover bones and everything and even the gelatinous stuff like that throw it in there now for the bones one thing my nutritionist told me because I was on the gaps diet and uh, had to eat this stuff a lot as a matter of fact this was all I ate for several weeks it's frightening when you have a hammer that... did you watch the hammer I didn't but it's boiling water my word <laughs> Um, so I had to eat, this was all I ate for several months. And then I would add an egg or some vegetables, but I was on the GAPS diet for several months trying to help my CFS, my chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia. Now, didn't work for me, but may work for you. And if you have to do this, this is really super cheap and easy. So my nutritionist said, break the bones. So I just take the hammer. Just like that. Whoops, I'm sorry. Didn't mean to <laughs> splat it all over. Because what you want is the marrow out of the bones. Ew. Okay? Right there. You got some in my soup. So, bill. got that one. Now, what's funny is my grandma used to suck the marrow out of the chicken. And she just thought that was the greatest thing. Now, these smaller pieces, I just throw those straight in. Okay? And I don't do, like, the skin... I don't really do the skin or anything like that. There's some onion that was left. Here's some little bits of bone. And, and I go ahead and add, see this gelatinous stuff? That is the collagen from the chicken. So you want that in there because what you're trying to get is a gelatin stuff out of it. Okay, and Shannon says she still has the pancake song in her head. <laughs> making pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take a bacon, you put it in your pancakes. Bacon but, pancakes. But that's not what she's actually making today. No, today I'm making okay. bone broth. So my daughter had that bacon pancake song, and that was her new favorite, pan, new favorite song, and she was just singing that over and over and over again. Okay. Now, usually I have a whole lot more bones than this, and you want about one to two pounds of bones, but I didn't feel like roasting two chickens, and I used half the bones last night in a small batch, and then I was going to do the other batch today. Okay, so I have everything in there but this little bit of skin, okay? Right there. Now, let me rinse off my hands. Tammy says, I just finished my second batch of chicken broth from the same chicken. Yes, you can get two or three batches from the same bones. Yes, you can. You can get quite a bit from it. Um, okay. So, there. We're done with the hammer. Are you happy that you don't have to be afraid? <laughs> Meet back Okay. Away. So, now, you want to use Himalayan salt. It usually works the best about one to three teaspoons, depending on how much broth you're making. Why? Oh, you want to set a two minute timer, huh? Yeah. Because that's all it takes. There's a timer over there. You want to set it now, because then I'll feel pressured. So then take your onion or your carrots or you can add um, a piece of celery in here to add some flavoring. And if you want, 30 minutes before you finish, you can add a little bit of garlic or parsley. 
put about a tablespoon of vinegar in here because that helps bring out the collagen. All right, so then you take this and, oh, my lid's in the dishwasher. You put your lid on it and then you let it, you bring it to a boil and then you turn it down and you let it simmer for 24 hours. Now it might get a foamy scum type looking stuff on the top. If it does, it's no big deal. Just scrape that off and throw it away. You might check 30 minutes to an hour after you start simmering it. And then you just let it sit and simmer for um, 24 to 48 hours. Now, you can make this with chicken broth, or I mean, you can make it with chickens, you can make it with lamb, you can make it with turkey, you can make it with beef bones, or you can make it with fish if you want. And what we usually do is just roast the chicken and keep it. Now, the best part about this is usually when I was having to be on this diet, I would make about, oh, I'd probably make, I don't know, probably five or six quarts at a time and simmer all of that. Then you can put it in ice cube trays and freeze it in two tablespoon portions, or you can um, freeze it in like one to two cup portions. So that way, if you can't eat it all within the two to three days that you're supposed to eat it, then you can freeze it and have it for later, okay? Now, this part is kind of tricky. I have a colander, but one of the children took it for their fish tank. Cough, cough, How do you think cough, all cough. the germ people will like that one? <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry if you're, you know, have germ issues, but my children do use my kitchen stuff for a lot of things. So, all right, now this could be very interesting. We Ugh. use toothbrushes for fish tanks. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so now I'm going to strain it. It's, let's spin 20. Ow! That is boiling. Ugh. Now I'm going to strain it. Oh, this is... A disaster Give waiting to happen. Why don't you hold the thing and I'll uh, hold it. Okay, here. Hold, hold right here. What's everyone be like? Oh, wow, well, this is okay. Hilarious. Okay, you turn the pot and I'll try to hold the strainer. Oh, oh my goodness. Frighten me. Frighten me. No, get off the road. <laughs> oh, man. Random okay. Lord so I think I just scalded my arm. Ow. I did. Hold on. Oh, that looks brothy. Wait, this is the done bro? That's the done. It's done. The magic of television. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so, like I said, you might want to use a colander so you don't scald your arm. Do you need the blue stuff? Yeah, let me get it. And this is why I keep aloe in the kitchen. <laughs> With painkiller. Did I mention this hasn't been the best week yet <laughs> that we've had? Okay. We had a couple questions. Donna said the chicken jelly stuff is full of flavor. Is that what you put yes. out? Yes. So that's why I keep it if I've roasted my chicken and it, um, if I've roasted my chicken and it's got a, like a gelatin type, uh, what do you call it? Uh, consistency, you want that, that's what you want. It's the gelatin, the collagen in there and that's what you want. So then- well, Also Heidi wanted to know if you can use the skin. You can use the skin, but I don't. You'd probably add something to it. Yeah. Um, then just skim off if you, if you, um, Oh crud, I did a number on myself. Look at that. Ow. Um, okay, you can then just use this to cook your chicken soup, your turkey soup. You can make egg drop soup, egg flour soup, whatever you want to call it. You can just drink it plain. I just drink it plain with some salt. 
Now, for health reasons, if you're on the GAPS diet, you need to drink this like at every meal. But if you just want a healthy drink, you can drink it like just a cup a day or something. Now, um, I will say a disclaimer. I did try to, this to help my chronic fatigue syndrome and fibromyalgia, and it did not work for me. There are a lot of people who swear by this diet, and that's great. If it works for you, it's worth a try. It's cheap. It's not that difficult. Well, I mean, you have the temptation to resist other foods, but it's not hard to make, I'm saying. Um, so, uh, yeah. If you want to freeze it, I just put it in ice cube trays, so I have pre-measured amounts. My ice cube trays are two, two tablespoons. But if you want, you could just put it in a container or let it cool and put it in a zip uh, lock bag and just put like one cup portions in a zip top bag or however much, you know, two cups, however much you want. You can also use this to replace your water and rice and have really flavorful rice. Okay? Shannon's asking, can if you make three batches of broth from the same bones, does it make the same amount each time or just a little weaker? So I don't make... It makes it weaker. So what I do is I just make a really, really big batch with the first batch of bones because you don't get as much collagen and that kind of stuff. So yes, it does get weaker and weaker as you make it, but I just usually make a great big, I usually fill my crock pot clear to the top and I think this holds 12 cups, five quarts. How much is five quarts? Five times four is what? 20. So this is 20 cups. And I usually just fill it all the way to the top. And that's it. I mean, there is absolutely no reason. Okay, well, I shouldn't say it that way. But really, guys, you shouldn't be paying $8 for four or eight cups of this stuff. It is not rocket science. Grandma has been making this since time began. And there is nothing new or inventive about this at all. It's just broth. It is very healthy for you, but, you know, there's nothing that whoopy about it. Sandy said we well, did great teamwork, and Marianne said I was very brave. Guy <laughs> <sighs> and Jackie wants to know, would ice help your burn? Um, it probably would, but ice usually it. makes it worse for... I, you usually want cold water. It's starting to sting again. You usually want cold water, not ice. But the aloe usually helps me. And I'm probably going to have a nice little weld there for a while. Um, so, one other thing. Now, Dave, can they see in here? Dave? Louise, um, Louise asked if yeah. they drink it. Should they drink it warm or cold? I drink it. You can drink it however you want, but I drink it, I drink it warm. I don't like it cold. I like it warm. Okay. So look in here from last night. So after I boiled this for 24 hours, there is a lot of meat left on here. So I could probably get at least one serving's worth of meat picked off of like this wing. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Ew, that's so And gross. these kinds of things. So go in and pick out your meat when you're done and use it for another meal and put or put it in your chicken soup and that's it just add a little extra salt if you want to drink it by itself but that is how you make homemade bone broth and when you put it in the refrigerator it's going to set up and look like jello but that's that's what you want it's the gelatin that is supposedly the healing properties of the um bone broth so, there you go. I hate to say that it's that simple, but it really is that simple, guys. So, I'm not sure if this is because of the burn or if this is about the broth, but Paige said my grandma uses sugar water. Probably for the burn. Hmm. Yeah, I did my... Look at that. I did a number on myself. Ouch. So... Oh, leave it to me. Donna said using roasted meat and veggies makes a more flavorful broth, so I always use leftovers from the baked chicken. Yes, and you can do that. Just throw in an extra chicken, 
uh, or I mean an extra carrot in with your kit chicken or whatever. Now mom, she will take and when her carrots and celery will start to get not the freshest that you really want to eat, but they're still good. She will dehydrate them and throw those in her stock, her broth, and that works really well also. So Shelly said instead of meat broth, we've also made just vegetable broth that turned out really good. And Marisol says, I save all veggie peels and skins in a Ziploc bag in my freezer. And once that's full, I make broth. Yes, and that's very good for vegetable broth. But if you're using it for health purposes, that is not the same as bone broth. You want the collagen, you want the gelatin in the bones that is created. And so... Um, so I was practicing my smile because... You are practicing your smile. So um, that's why you want the bones because if you're using for healing properties <clears throat> supposedly it heals your intestinal lining to drink the bone broth that's what they say um guess who has a birthday today who turret has a birthday today <gasps> no our faithful follower okay yep. we have to sing to her you ready yep hold on just a second uh, you need to learn how to type. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Turin. Happy birthday to you. Yay! That was our first birthday Yay! song in Norway. Yay! <laughs> that was our first birthday song to Norway. Say happy birthday, Turin. Happy birthday. Thank you for watching us. We appreciate it. We'll visit you when we come to Norway. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> so, that's how you make bone broth, guys. I mean, it's super simple and yeah. That's the end of this episode. <laughs> See you next time. Oh. Bye. So, right. <laughs> uh, so I made a peppermint soap today, but we have a question for you guys. Has anybody ever heard of, or does has anybody had hemochromatosis? And if you have that, you'll know what I'm talking about. Turin says, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. So supposedly our, well, not supposedly, it's definitely, our son has that. It's a genetic disorder where he stores up iron too much. And we can't get into the doctor for a while. So we were just kind of wondering if anybody has had it. And if so, how do you deal with it? He's only 19, so they say it doesn't usually show up until you're in your 50s or 60s. But they are wondering if part of his symptoms could be this particular problem. So if anybody has that, would you please email me and let me know? Because we're kind of curious until we can get to the doctor. Okay, that is a cool bar of soap. <laughs> Do you see this? Oh, smells good. It smells peppermint really good. stick. It mm. smells like peppermint stick. Mm. Peppermint stick. Mm. Hot dog. Shannon said, how mm. is BJ? I feel so bad that you aren't getting the answers that you need. Scary. Well, he's still not doing very well. We did find out he has the hemochromatosis, but we're not even sure that's actually his problem. Wait, so would it, so, would it be bad for us to go to somewhere with him? Huh? Would it be bad for me if we go somewhere? No. Oh, okay. So we're not sure what is going to happen. The doctor said that the only way to really cure it is to bleed them, <laughs> which is kind of seeming weird, but I guess that's what they do. Um, but it's not his blood pressure problem. Okay, Jackie wants to know, is there a nurse in the house? Yeah, it's not his blood pressure problem because that doesn't cause high blood pressure. Yeah, Kathy says giving blood helps with that. Marisol says beautiful soap. Thank you. Um, yeah, so we found out that he can donate blood. And Charlene says I can't remember how they treated him. Tammy says get as much iron out of his diet as possible. Well, that's what we were thinking. She we says were gonna... no cast iron cooking and no meat. Although I'm thinking, isn't it red meat that has iron mostly? Yeah. Or is it? Mostly red. So, I don't know. So, we're kind of, 
We're glad that <clears throat> there's something that they've noticed, but we're not sure if it's actually his problem or if it's just, oh, well, look what we've happened to discover in the middle of all this other stuff. Did you explain what it is? A couple of people had asked, but I didn't. So hemochromatosis is where your body stores too much iron and you can't excrete the extra iron. Well, and happening. so you store it up and then it causes heart failure and liver failure. It causes weakness, fatigue, um, pain, abdominal pain, joint pain. And he's had all of those symptoms. Oh, Maureen says my husband has hemochromatosis and he gives blood. Is that, does that, how often does he have to do that? And does it work pretty well? We heard that was something to do. We heard that he might be able to do that. And so we're hoping... We heard that he may have to get rid of some blood. Oops, wow, I really cut that one crooked. Sorry, wants to know, is it hereditary or generational? It is hereditary. And so, because of that, I have had a DNA test. Mike has not. I'm going to save this for my soap thing. Um, so I'm going to have the doctor look at my DNA test and see if it was me that gave it to Mike or to, to BJ or if Mike has it because apparently it can show up in your 50s and 60s in the form of liver problems and heart problems. So we kind of need to find out. We will probably have to get the rest of the kids tested. Hmm. So hey, yeah. I don't know anything about it. You I don't even know if that's a problem. A link to a website that is literally called hemochromatosis.org. Yep. Oh, thank so you, you, Tammy. Wanna... No, it was Amy. <laughs> oh, well, Tammy put it C on there too. See Carter is quoting for Money Python. Bring out your dead arms for the dead. <laughs> Yes, I remember that. Well, we were just thinking, could we just go get some leeches and save ourselves well, it's funny because dollars? When Tara said they, they have to get blood from them, I thought, wait, so you're saying we need leeches? We should do that on a show. That would probably... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, Laura says crazy. my nephew has that and, has, and he donates blood. A lot of people say that. Okay, well, I'm hoping it's as simple as that because, honestly, it's kind of disturbed us. This week has been a really rough week for us. So, in case you didn't hear, Mike had someone sideswipe him, kind of. Sort well, actually, of. slammed well, me pretty hard on the front yeah. right. And he totaled our van. We went yesterday, and thankfully, the insurance agency, Allstate is great. Thank you, Allstate. We have had six accidents in two years, and only one was our fault. And Allstate is the only insurance age company that has gotten their act together and actually helped us quickly. And so yesterday they went out and looked at it and the van is totaled. I'm not crying though, I'm sorry. Tara didn't really like the van that much. I hated that van. <clears throat> but actually, I'm not sure we really had that great of experience with no. any of the vans. We used to have a, a station wagon that was really nice. They so, if anybody has a Toyota Camry that's like a year 2000 for less than $5,000, let me know. <laughs> With under 100,000 miles, we're looking for an old grandma type Toyota Camry. We found three of them so far, so that's not too bad. That's um, so, that's what I'm going to try and get next and get rid of the van. I'm tired of vans. But, thankfully, they totaled it. And we will be, and they gave us the full amount, unlike MetLife and Progressive, which ripped you off. <gasps> when, progressive does not save money and lives. No, Progressive does not save you money. If you have Progressive and MetLife, you guys need to get rid of it. It is absolutely ridiculous. When we totaled our van, they only gave us $2,100 for it, and it was worth like $4,500. But at the time, we were in the middle of a really bad court battle with Mike's folks when they scowl clobbered me and we didn't just didn't have the, yeah we didn't have the the energy to, to fight, it, yeah. fight them so yes Dave BC said the soap looks like it's bleeding ah it's peppermint swirl it smells super delicious ah it smells like that peppermint frosting that sometimes is on cakes yes it's Yum. really good uh, C. C. Carter asked, was it a Dodge van? I killed him quite well. Yes, yes, it was. No more. I am done. No more. Yeah. Um, well, we had another. Was the other one a Dodge, too? 
Yeah, it was better because it was an older one, but... But this one, I don't know. There were some things when we first got it that weren't quite what we had hoped. I think... Yeah. But... So Mike went to the chiropractor today. So <laughs> did he officially diagnose you with whiplash or no? He didn't say what it was, but he said it was all messed up. <laughs> he said my neck was angry. Your like, neck is angry. Wow, okay. In fact, he didn't want to do everything with it today because he said, your neck is angry. What's funny is it hurt, but it hurt worse when he was touching it. <laughs> so. so he went in and got that started and see if we can get him back into shape. <laughs> Here, my baby shaking. Yeah. So, do you want to see some of these questions? Sure. They Let's want see. to see we my beautiful a lot of these already. Oh, Joyce wants to know at the meetup where we go on Facebook Live. I think the people that aren't going to be able to come were probably wondering that. Um, I don't know, actually. We'll have to see how good the Wi-Fi is. We should ask them. Is our hotspot good enough? It might be. If we just go on the phone, but we'd only be able to go to Facebook then. Not yeah. More. Which is fine. It'd probably be too difficult to do both. Yeah, we might we might try to do one or the other. We'll see if we can. So March 11th. Tammy says she's coming. At 1 o'clock. <laughs> Good, Tammy. Tammy, I am so sorry. I was so frazzled yesterday. I apologize. Poor Tammy. She came to meet me at the post office to get pick up her order. I had just got done at the van. Taken the drywall out. We moved the drywall from one van to my grandparents' van that we're borrowing. And I was soaking wet because it was a blizzard yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and we were doing all this in a snowy downpour. And so I'm sorry. I was totally out of it yesterday. And poor Tammy, she was so nice. So it was nice to meet you finally. <laughs> but, and we will probably have David and Jack there. But probably not, maybe BJ, I don't know. But probably not the other kids. They oh. have to work, so. Other people, I will definitely 100% vlog it from my perspective. You're going to vlog, vlog it? the entire thing. What it's like to be a YouTube son? Yeah. Even, well, are we going to hug anyone? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> are we going to hug anyone? <laughs> <laughs> he said, are we going to hug anyone? I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Penny said she put the skin in the broth when she made it because the fat added is the good fat. Yes. I've heard people say that. Uh, yeah, you can add, yeah, you can add the skin and it is good. I just, um, I just don't because there's enough in there that just falls in there, so. If you're just joining us, we made the bone broth today and I'm pasting the link for the recipe in yep. right now. Go back to YouTube for a second. What was that? Which one? Are you... Uh, Marie, bones I'm not afraid of getting bones in the soup because that's why I strain it. So usually I run it through the col colander, but one of the kids is using it for their fish tank. So Michelle it. said Cop -cop. those pancakes looked so delicious. Thank you. And they Kajitan were delicious. said I made the pancakes, but I added cocoa powder. Ooh. Oh, yum. That would be really good. And you could add chocolate chips too. Yeah. Hmm. That's really good. Oh, and Sullivan Homesteader was reminding them on YouTube that you can also do this with beef bones. Yeah, you can do it with beef, chicken, um, turkey, lamb, or fish. I have done it with everything but fish, and they all turn out really, really good. Nugget oh, biscuit, Wendy. nugget and biscuit. Nugget, nugget and a biscuit. biscuit. Uh, Wendy said we put dill in some vinegar in ours, and it, it also draws out the marrow. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can do that. And I did put vinegar in mine. I used vinegar and Himalayan salt. Oh. Yes, March 11th. Ava says, I have chicken broth and turkey broth in the freezer. Did have beef broth, but I made beef tips and noodles, so I'm going to have to save some more beef bones. Yum. Yeah. And you can buy beef bones at the store. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we've got a kitty video coming up soon. That's mine. That Dave shot for us. No, it's, it's only mine. I am posting it on my channel. <laughs> Don't worry, though. You guys should post it on Facebook. You guys should post a link and share um, it. I don't know if you could use canning salt. My nutritionist told me to use the Himalayan salt for the minerals. I don't know if it's the same. I'm not sure. I don't can, so I don't know. Wendy says I use kosher salt. Yeah, you could use kosher salt. And sea salt would probably work just as well. So. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, let me go back over here. I was looking through those comments there. But will um, people want to hug me if they know they're being recorded? Christine said you need a mallet to slap on the table. 
Judge Tara. I do. I need a mouth. I would be a good judge. I'd be like, I ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Joyce said, I rewatched your organizing videos. Can't give up grandma's stuff. And your mom give was... Give up grandma's stuff. Your mom was saying, do what you can. Yes. Start. Just start getting rid of something. You don't have to get rid of all of it, but get rid of something. She'll stop the stream. Um... He had a cat standing in front of the computer. Uh, Sorry. Uh, let's see. Sherry Ann said, I'm cooking up some fried mashed potatoes. Yum. Yes, Tammy said you could cook the bones all night. Sorry. You could cook the bones all night and then break them by hand in the morning. My problem is, is I forget. So, yeah. You can do that if you don't want to hammer it. Uh. Denise is asking, did they find the driver? <clears throat> we we have not been yet. notified if they found the driver or not. I'd be a little surprised if they didn't, because the way he acted, I, I don't think that he would have stolen the license plate. Because <laughs> he acted like he was contemplating staying before he left. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. <laughs> Joyce said, my kids are grown up during doing their own laundry. My daughter figured out she could wear her jeans all week. Underwear are the key. <laughs> Yes. yes, that's why you wear underwear. So you have a small amount to wear, small amount to wash that's worn weekly. And a... yeah. <laughs> uh, Tammy said if you're planning to can the broth, not to use sage because it'll taste burnt. Ooh. I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah. Uh, and C. Carter had said, I want that pan when you, I think it was when you got the soap out. She's wondering when you got that. I wonder if she meant the plastic thing. No. I don't know. Email me and, and tell me which one you're talking about and I can tell you where I got it. <laughs> yeah, and Amy's, I don't, not sure what it was that was happening at that moment, but Amy had said, just got here and Mike's already getting into trouble. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, run, forest, run. <laughs> oh, uh, man, this see. is really stinging. Leanne asked if you burn badly. <sighs> oh, said, I burn myself all the time. And if I really keep the aloe just really drowned it as soon as it soaks in i usually don't blister and but... leanne said use a different strainer tar was she normally does but our son grabbed the we have like a colander that she usually uses right yeah but our older son took it downstairs to strain something in his fish tank <laughs> we were thinking that might not be appropriate for <laughs> using for a cooking show <laughs> nobody's gonna ever eat from our house again <laughs> Yeah. Actually, Amy said just, send BJ to the dollar store to buy your replacement. Yeah, just so you know, he, he's he got it. I'm just going to have to get me another one. So we've been joking around. But just so you guys, if you actually come to my house to eat, I am not going to serve you food that has been cooked in food or in pans that were used for the fish tank. <laughs> Unless you want some, you know, seafood or something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was pretty cheesy, I admit. <laughs> Terry says, I hope your arm mm -hmm. is okay. Well, yep. um, it here, will be again. eventually, I but oh, I, I, I discovered just before the yeah. accident, I was coming from the doctor where they told me I tore the tendon and he's like, more yep. than halfway through. <clears throat> so, yes. so we're kind of trying to figure out. So Jack just brought me something, Dad, Yeah. of his own invention that we forgot about in the freezer. What is it? Okay, show it was him. my ice pack. And what did you make your ice pack out of? So I just got a um, cough. empty cough drops bag and then filled it with ice. Yep. And then up here it can open and close, so I just close that. Can I put it on my wound? You could. Thank you. That is <laughs> so sweet. That'll make um, it 30 times harder though. Michael asked, can you use this bone broth in any dish? Yes. Yep, you can use it just in place of chicken stock or beef stock, any recipe that calls for chicken or beef stock. And if you guys want to make a vegetable version, what we do is save all of our peelings, and this tip is in Dining on a Dime, but save all of your peelings for, um, like when you peel your, your carrots and you peel your stuff, um, put it in a freezer bag and just save it. I think someone else said that on the show. But right here we have a whole bunch of tips on page 104 on soup and sandwich tips. And that recipe is in there because um, it's a really easy way to no. save. So, Someone was saying hey Gina, um, 
David said you were having trouble, and I saw that you were trying to post on Facebook, and only a few things were coming through. So um, you can try and email us. Go to our website, livingoutadime.com, and email us, and I'll check. But the, you're not blocked, uh, well, so weird. I'm not really sure. Huh. Yeah, oh, some people were asking about my arm. So I tore, there's a tendon that comes up my arm right here, and right at the top by the elbow, I tore it. And apparently, they told me it was a small tear, but when I went to the doctor, the paper said greater than 50% of the way through the tendon. So... Uh, they said that pretty much means I'm going to have to have surgery, but I won't know until March 10th when that's going to have to happen and what the process is. So, anyway, but yep. let's see. Uh, Patty says the actual cause of hemochromatosis is genetic mutation. Yeah, because somebody else... Somebody else said, hmm. a couple people had said it passed from the mother to the son, but... Oh, I did this to my poor But what I looked baby. at online looked like it had to be uh, like a recessive gene from both of us. Well, what was interesting is one of the things I saw said that they confuse it with chronic fatigue syndrome, which I have. So now I'm wondering, do I have high iron? Uh, Jamie said to know. tell you uh, that Jenna or Gina's tumor is gone. Yay! Oh, yay, Gina, that is wonderful. That is wonderful. great, Gina. I was hoping that was what the good news was. Yay! That is so great. That is awesome. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so if you just joined us, just one more time before I get another question. We're going to do a Colorado, Wyoming, wherever you want to I don't care where you want to come from, but... <laughs> um, Wherever in Colorado, we're going to be at Perkins in Longmont, Colorado at 1 p.m. on March 11th. And they're saving a room for us. And so we are going to be there for a meetup with you guys. So if you guys can come, please come. Yes. If you guys are in the U.S., come or else we'll yep. cry. Um, Heather asked, can anyone tell me what broth is used for and what it helps? So... For medical purposes, the gelatin that is formed from the collagen and bones is supposed to be healing to your intestines. So like if you have the stomach flu or something or food poisoning or something like that, it's supposed to heal up your intestines. Now, so for some people with like autism, they use it for autism, they use it for chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, they use it for irritable bowel. and the theory is, is that it heals the intestines and helps rebuild that intestinal lining. And now people are using it as a big fad health food type thing. But, and it is legitimate. It didn't help me, but it is legitimate and it has helped a lot of people. So, yeah. Kathleen said, I could use, Tara, I could use peppermint soap. That's my favorite scent. I'm going to have it on sale tomorrow. This is peppermint stick, and oh, man, it smells so good. But you have to save, like, five sticks and five things for us. I have to save you five bars because you love peppermint. Dave loves anything peppermint. Dave is Mr. Peppermint Man. Oh, Jamie says she's copying all the advice for BJ so that we have that. So that's awesome. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Leanne says, hi, I love your life story. Yay! Um, so Cherry wanted to know what is the name of the diet you were on? GAPS. G-A-P-S. And it was like gastrointestinal and something or another syndrome. I don't know. Or I don't know. Anyway, just look up G-A-P-S GAPS diet. And let's see. Mary says, I keep hearing Tara's voice in my head. Do I love it? Do I want to wear it now? It helps me to purge my closet. Thank Yay, you. Yay, good. <laughs> Get those clothes gone. If you're not wearing them, don't keep them. <laughs> I guess I'll get rid of my checked shirt in that show. I don't think you should. Everyone said it was outdated and I looked like a dork. You don't look like a dork. I think that was the shirt you were wearing when I met you. Did oh you no, that? actually no, that would have been the day no, we went to your yeah to your uh, little store that you were starting. Fudge Works. No, oh, the, your, oh yeah, your that's craft right. Store. Yeah. Um, oh, Nancy says put apple cider vinegar. Okay, in the bone broth because it pulls yes, the minerals out. Yes, you can do apple cider vinegar too, but apple cider vinegar makes me sick, so I can't do that. But yes. Oh, Anita just joined in a little bit ago. Hi, it's okay. She says sorry, I lost track of time, but. 
We're so glad you're here. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's been a long week. We've had, let's see, we've had an ER visit. Mike's had an ER visit and two doctor's visits. BJ has had three doctor's visits, so six doctor things this week. We crashed the van. We found out he's got to have surgery. <laughs> we found out we're going to be losing our medical insurance on April 1st in the middle of all this. Everyone passes. And so, yeah, so anyway, we're we're a little we're trying not to be stressed. We know it's all going to work out, but <laughs> <laughs> it's a little much sometimes. <laughs> Uh, wow, we still have to celebrate yay, with Gina. I'm Gina. so glad your tumor is gone, Gina. That's awesome. And I don't know why. Really cool. I saw some of your posts, but mostly the ones just asking if we could see them and nothing else. That's so, weird. Anyway. Yeah, because you're not blocked. I know you're not. Oh, Jackie says, my sister-in-law is a nurse and uses frozen veggies for swelling all the time. The uh -huh. best part is you can eat them later. Yeah. There you <laughs> totally. go. Totally. That's says, good. Lynn says, <laughs> um, Lynn says, Sorry about your arm, Dad. Thank you, Lynn. And Here, I'll kiss also, it for you. Is that better? Lynn says, yep. sorry about your arm, Mom, for burning it. Oh, I pretty much, every time I cook, I burn myself, so I'm used to it. It's just a little <coughs> annoying, but... Show them my kids and be like, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, and Chandy says, thank you for the wonderful recipe. You're welcome. And that is, if you guys missed, it's in Dining on a Dime on page, what page should I say? 109. Except in here I only cook it for a couple of hours and you need to cook it all night long for 24 hours. So that's the only difference. Oh, man. All right, sorry, I'm just checking to see what else is here. No. Uh, somebody noticed you were, pain, uh, you were fading. Poor Penny, she's still sick. She said it's making- I am so sorry, Penny. I have never heard of anybody having that as an adult. That is crazy. Yeah, let's see, what else we must be missed here? Oh, a lot of people saying they want to go to the meetup. You know what? We we hope to be able to do meetups in other places eventually, but since we're in Colorado, we're starting with that. Yeah, so if you want to come to the Colorado <laughs> meetup on March 11th at Perkins in Longmont, Colorado at 1 p.m., please send me an email so I can give them a count. Just so, I mean, I can't imagine more than, what, 20 or 30 people will show up, but... I don't want to accidentally have 200 people show up. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen, but just in case. So if you're planning on coming, would you please let me know March 11th at 1 p.m.? And Sandy says, I have coupons for Perkins too, darn it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know they had coupons. Well, everybody bring your Perkins coupons then. <laughs> yeah, they sounded kind of enthusiastic about having us coming. Yeah, so. they were really... Yep. Gut and psychology syndrome. Thank you, Tammy. That is what that. GAP stands for. And Sherry says, keep the shirt. You looked great in it. And I agree. Thank you. And it's not just because you're sitting next to me and my injured arm is next to you. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So, uh, oh, oh, Karen wow. asked if I could have the surgery after the trip. I think that's probably the way it's going to go down. Uh, but that's we, fine. The problem is we won't have medical insurance after that, but we may just have to buck up and have a sale and have a please help Mike have surgery sale <laughs> so we could have the six five six seven thousand dollars I don't know how much it's gonna cost but anyway so let's see uh <laughs> I have something kind of urgent to add what oh, sorry. uh Lynn wants to know are you seeing any of her comments on Facebook Lynn? Yeah. I haven't seen many of them on there. I wonder if Facebook Guys, is Guys, I'm just wondering if Facebook is doing something weird. Make There's sure. There's a lot of comments here, but I don't see. Make sure you are still liked on our page. I had someone the other day that had the same problem and it found out that she had not liked our page. Or she had liked our page, but somehow she got unliked. So make sure that you're liked on our page. Also, please make sure you're subscribed if you want to be subscribed to our YouTube channel because they keep deleting people. So if you want to be subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And always give us a thumbs up if you like our videos, please, because it helps YouTube show people that um, you guys like us so maybe more people will like us. Yeah. So, uh, Let's see. What else do we have here? Oh, Turid says I read that both parents have it. Mm -hmm. That both parents have to have the gene for the kids to have it, and I think that's true. 
So we'll have to look and see. Okay. <clears throat> Denise said, I missed it about Gina. What was her good news? Her good news is that her, her tumor, cancer her cancer gone. tumor is gone. Oh, and yes. And everybody's been praying for her on here, and that's awesome. So we're really glad. Actually, since I think she joined us probably, what, around September? Was that about when you started joining us? Lynn I don't know. got unliked, and also Amy says, set up a GoFundMe for BJ and Mike. Yeah, <laughs> we may have to. <laughs> Depends on how bad our medical bills get. Um, so Lynn and Gina, I'm going to check later on, but I don't, I didn't block you and look like you were, I saw both of you post something earlier, but not Make a lot of sure posts later. Make sure you're still liked. Yeah. So, well, if you don't, but if you, even if you don't like the channel, you can still comment, can't you? Yeah. I don't know. No, you can. You can you? Okay. Never mind. Sorry. Marianne says, keep the shirt, Tara. Thank you. I love that shirt. It's my favorite. Huh. Oh, um, some people, a couple people are saying if we're, out, if we're, um, oh, you know what? A couple people are saying that it's out of sync, and if that's the case for you, you might refresh. Um, actually, somebody said Ireland meetup, so I guess I'll paste in. Um, I'm pasting in a link for those of you in Ireland and Scotland and England. Ellie and I won't be able to visit everyone everywhere, but might be possible that if if we're in an area where you guys are, uh, we nice. could maybe. We could maybe get together for a little bit on one day. Uh, so, tea. so I just pasted in info about Mike and Ellie's trip. Uh, and it doesn't say the exact dates on there, but that's a link to a page where we talk about the towns where we are staying. And kind of in between those two will be. So uh, if you want to, there's a place where you can click and email us and tell us where you are. And we'll let you know when we're likely to be in that area. So. El says, I can't. I'm living on a dime. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> She's living on a dime, huh? That's funny. So, yeah, Jay, I don't know where... Oh, oh, well, Jay's in Sydney, so... That'd oh. be a little far away from Ireland <laughs> unless you're visiting for a little while. <laughs> That's funny. So, yeah, your mom wants to go there, too. Oh, now, Lynn, I see a comment from you now on Facebook, so... Okay. Amy huh. finally finished decorating the cake. She was decorating, but it was delaying her us, her, because she was watching us. <laughs> Jason so. says you guys should come for St. Patrick's Day to Ireland. Yeah. That would be cool. Karen asks, is YouTube unsubscribing people so they don't have to pay you so much? Well, no. Because so. they, they make money off of it. We don't get all the ad income. They get half, you know, half of what we get. So. And they don't really give us very much on the ad revenue, so it's more to their benefit for people to watch. I yeah. think they were just trying to block trolls and, and their thing got out of hand and they haven't mm. figured it out yet. Stephanie wants to know what shirt... Oh, I did a video, my minimalist closet, where I cleaned out my closet and I ended up with 27 hangers worth of clothes. And so I had a shirt on there that I was trying to decide if I should keep or get rid of because it's my favorite shirt in the whole wide world that I wear every Thanksgiving. But half the people said I looked good in it and the other half <laughs> said I looked like a dork. Yeah. <laughs> and they said I looked like a dork. They said you look like a dork. That's what they said. You should punch them in, my, in the nose for me. Okay. Timmy wants to know if you saw the photo she shared on your Facebook page, the Warsh one. Yes. I had like three people share that same picture with me yesterday, so it must have gone around. Thank you, Tammy. That was funny. Uh, Angela says, thank you for keeping me company. You're welcome. That's awesome. We're glad to be here, and hopefully everybody else is too. Let's see. Hey, Gina, just in case you aren't looking on Facebook at the moment, a lot of people are saying great news and they're really happy for you. Um, Dave, what is your YouTube? Can you... I'll just send you an email. Can, okay, because Crystal was asking. So, Charlene says, did you know that 80% of people who have fibro also have sleep apnea? Yes, that is a big problem, but I don't have it, unfortunately. So, I was hoping that would be a problem, but it's not, so... Yeah, Lynn, anyway. I'm seeing things, and now I'm seeing Gina's, too, so... That, that is just that's weird. That's odd. I don't know why I didn't, why I, we didn't see it earlier, huh? so... I just sent you it. Teresa said, just discovered you, and I'm hooked. You are me a decade ago. I lost my way, and you're putting me back on track. Yay! I'm so glad. Keep at it. You need a TV show. I don't know. I like our internet show. Yeah, better. I think we will pass on the TV. We, actually, we have had... So, we had Wife Swap want us to be on there. <laughs> yeah, that would have been... We had um, Extreme Cheapskates want us to be on there. And there was somebody else. Who else was it that wanted us to be on there? Karen. One other reality show wanted us to be on there. 
My kids keep saying that we should go on World's Strictest Parents. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my goodness. We're thinking, yeah, we're not the strictest parents, but... They are worse than the World's Strictest Parents. They are but if kids don't like to hear no, then they would think that we're the World's yeah. Strictest Parents. The World's Strictest Parent could technically... Well, never mind. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> um, let's see. Oops, sorry. I just and thank you my... guys for all the prayers. We could really use them right now. We're kind of worn out. I think I feel someone needs to take me out to Taco Bell tonight. <laughs> I think, I think maybe we should bring a candle and set and it I on the table <laughs> and a little vase of flowers. <laughs> Nick be looking at us, then we'd be there with our camera <laughs> talking about what we're doing. Our date at Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that I would be mean, so good. I mean, Jack, live stream from here. And <laughs> that would be so good. Um... Yeah, Can let's see. Can you tell them about my twin yet? Yeah. Oh, Jay, you moved to Ireland. That's awesome. Where wow. in Ireland? Oh, yes. Jonathan says, yes, I live alone, so it's nice to have the company. Actually, it's pretty yeah. awesome. We really like being able to interact with everybody, even though we can see, you can see us, but we can't see you, but still. You stop kissing each other. <laughs> Mom will take all the kisses she wants. Oh, Donna says, I'm glad other people are saying the same thing. I thought you just didn't like me. I comment on a lot of things that even bought your book and have not responded. Yeah, unfortunately, apparently it must be that some things aren't making it through on there. Yeah, something's not right, guys. Part of the reason why sometimes I pause when I'm looking at the screen like that is that when we get past the comments I've already kind of noted, um, we're looking to see. So we try to answer everything that looks like it needs an answer. So... But sometimes we miss some things because there are a lot. Yeah. Stephanie wants to know, what did you cook? I didn't see. Uh, I made bone broth today. So go back and, and as soon as we're done and it's supposed to go back and watch. <laughs> Robin says, well, Tara, I love that plaid shirt too. Who cares if you look like a dork? I'm a dork and there's nothing wrong with being dorky. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Oh, we should find that video of BJ. Oh, I... He was like 12 years old and he was... On, he was recording himself on... Um, I forgot what the program is. Photo booth on the Mac. And he was like 12. And he, we looked at the, we found the video recently. And he says, I am a man with strong muscles who looks dorky. <laughs> and now he's totally embarrassed that he made that video. So we need to find it and show it. Because, you know, obviously. See, I think we should move back to Pennsylvania by Robin. I think we would be good friends. Yes. What we need is a little, like... A tiny, oh. what we need is a tiny house in five different locations That's instead of a full size house. Could we have one in the north, east, the southeast, the south, the west, the northwest, and the midwest? Yep. Jonathan, I think one of the reasons why, Jonathan says, be leery of reality TV. Editing can be unflattering. Yes. I think one of the reasons why we haven't done yeah. TV like that is I was a television producer for 20 years. and um, We know exactly what happens. We know. I didn't do the stuff that was faking things, but I was around a lot of people that most things aren't real, even in reality TV. So. <laughs> yeah, Lynn, we're not even close to being the world's strictest parents. Kim wants to know what's gluten-free at Taco Bell. Uh, everything. I th well, well, no, no, no. Well, no. Taco Bell doesn't guarantee that anything's gluten-free, but the tacos don't bother you, right? I think the tacos are okay. I she, never thought about Tara it. Tara just eats crunchy tacos, and we haven't had any trouble. Maybe I should look at the ingredients. Shannon says, LOL, a candle on the table at Taco Bell. <laughs> yes. We should do that. I think that, that would be, be awesome. hilarious. <laughs> um, yeah, with their corn, there might be... I think they just don't want to have to go through proving that it is but the tacos i think well she eats the fresco tacos mm -hmm. so yeah. <laughs> yeah lynn says yep i felt that too I was crying here talking to you and thought i was being ignored <laughs> no I'm we're sorry. not ignoring you, guys. you guys sorry yeah so let's see what else do we have here before yes and donna we need to meet up donna come to the colorado meetup in longmont It'll be fun. I can't wait. Was oh, Donna in Colorado? We can talk soap. Donna's my soap and buddy. All right. She helps me when I have my I soap disasters live. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hey. Everyone. Oh, by the way, Donna, guess what I got in the mail yesterday? Russian piping tips. I think tomorrow I'm going to do a live show, soaping show during the day just because I want to try them. And I got something else special too, but I'm not going to show anybody until I do the show. <laughs> 
I'm sorry, Gina, I don't mean to be yawning. It has been a really, really long week. To put it in perspective, I went to bed. You two. Stop that, boys. David. Our no. production staff is on strike while he's struggling with his brother. <laughs> <laughs> I went to bed at 8.30 on, I don't remember if it was Tuesday or Wednesday, and I have never been to 8, I'm a night owl, and I have never been to bed at 8.30 before in my life, ever. I'm one of those people that vacuums at 11 o'clock at night. I, so. I, I wasn't doing anything, I was just drinking some water. Mm, Mr. Innocent. Yeah, Marisol said corn tacos are gluten-free. I think they are, but their website yeah. says that nothing is guaranteed to be gluten-free there. I think yeah. that's just because they don't, if they put a taco down next to a flour tortilla, they don't want somebody to say they um, sick. Tammy, I make both. <laughs> this is my cold process from scratch, and this is melt and pour I have extra melt and pour that I need to get made into soap so i'm trying to get as much soap made up so that when we move i don't have so many supplies to move so marianne said make sure you don't get that taco in a bag <laughs> oh yeah they never contacted me i'm pretty half actually oh. we, we've loved taco bell a lot in the past but the two that are closest to us they're really hit and miss like some days they're awesome and some days one time there was something on their sign and it had a certain price and when I went to order it, it was like $3 more and I thought, what? And they said, well, that's the way it is. And I was thinking, okay. Karen wants to know if she missed a soap show. No, Karen, I did not do any soap shows this week. I have been dealing with car accidents and doctor's visits, so I was not able to get a soap show in. I'm very sorry. But check my soap YouTube channel, How to Make Soap. Mike is going to put the link in there for you. Subscribe if you guys like to make soap, but I have three videos on there right now and I'm getting the fourth one on tonight, I hope. Wait, I'm putting the channel. The uh, channel. Where is the channel um, and hmm. it's in my inbox if you need to find it. Yeah. Of my 3,437 messages. Um, oh, the more scroll. urgent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you have 367. Right. No, scroll back up. 967 um, messages. So I'm putting, starting to put my Here it is. soap videos on my new How to Make Soap channel. Oh, oops, except I have to make it. I see you. I have the best mom ever. Um, I want to give my mom kisses. I do. Oh, I want to give <laughs> kisses. All right, let's just make sure that I So check out my soap. soap don't. My soap, um, what do you call it? YouTube channel. Please. And as always, guys, please give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe because it helps our channels. I am pasting it in now, and, the link to the soap yes. channel. So anyway, so Ramona, we found out BJ has hemochromatosis, but we don't know if that is the cause of his problems or not. The doctor isn't sure and we have to go see a blood specialist. So we're waiting to get referrals and all that fun stuff. Yeah, Bonnie says when you get a when you guys get a new car ticket to get checked out by a mechanic, try not to be too hasty. Yeah, actually, one thing that's great is BJ's a mechanic, a mechanic and we we know mostly what to look for, <laughs> so we go and we check it out really well first. And if it looks pretty great, then we call him in to check it out even more. And in the past, we've done other things too. We've done like uh, title checks and stuff like that. Yeah. What did you want to say? So, um. I'm kind of glad that the live stream is ending because um, it's kind of getting annoying when Buster is moaning in the office <laughs> because he's so lonely. Poor Buster. Can you go keep him company and give him love? Yeah. So when the dog's in here, his fingernails click like crazy all over, all over on the floor and it sounds like something's wrong with the audio. <laughs> and But when he's in the other room, even though he's in there with Dave or Jack, he'll... Uh, he'll just kind of go, <laughs> Dave, you're smacking the camera, boy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. Uh, All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and go. Penny, I hope you're starting to feel better. Gina, I am so happy. That is wonderful news. And uh, Lynn, we weren't ignoring you. <laughs> so be sure to check out um, our other videos and our website, livingonadime.com. And don't forget our Colorado meetup. Wait, wait, hold on at Perkins on March 11th at 1 p.m. in Longmont, Colorado. What? Um, Kayton says, the only problem is what day is the meetup in Dublin? 
Oh. <laughs> um, I'm going to paste that link in again. If you guys email us, it would be good to know. We're not going to be in very long in Dublin, but we still might be able to do something. Um, How long are you going to be there? We're going to be longer. We will only really one afternoon and evening. Oh. But we were going to be in a lot of other places for longer. Like... Well, maybe when you go out to dinner, you could just have a big party. They could take you to a pub. <laughs> yep. Even though we don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> that might be awkward. Let's see. Can know. you get a Pepsi in a pub? <laughs> or coke <laughs> that might be that might be it it, it might be insulting to them in the pub i don't know <laughs> oh that's funny all right guys we will see you later and if you guys want to email us and let us know if you're going to be at our meetup go to livingonadime.com click contact for any other questions or problems you can click contact Bonnie also and we get the messages so who needs to know uh, where in the heck is long Longmont, Colorado. It's about well, an hour north of Denver. Yeah, about an hour north of Denver. Oh, Lana said, how do we pay? I sent an email saying I want to take the class. Take what class? I'm not sure. Um, I have no idea. Oh, oh, I think she's meaning your e-course. Oh, my e-course. It is not done yet. If you want to know how to make my how to make soap for beginners e-course, we are working on the videos now. Hopefully in two weeks I'll have it done. I'm not sure. Do we, did we put that on the website? Where and is that? so my type in e-course right there, e-course. And um, Mike's putting the link on here if you want to sign up. I'm giving a discount for people to buy it before it comes out, but I, we don't have it up yet. So get on this mailing list and I will mail out to this mailing list Sorry, when I didn't we see, get it set up. We were a little behind on comments there and I didn't see your question until just then. So uh, I'll go ahead and paste that in right now. And hopefully we didn't miss too many other questions, but... Sorry, guys, if we missed your question. But Tara's running out of steam, and I think we need to go on our Taco Bell date. Are you going to take my okay. flowers? Yep. And goodbye, Bye, everyone. guys. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks. It's been awesome having you. <laughs> oh, you're still alive. When you I was going to say, you're still alive when you say that.